What's up, and welcome back to Rocco's Kitchen. Cheers. Tonight, we're going to be making braised short rib ravioli. Now, to start that, we're going to get these short ribs braising. So for that, I got about a pound and a half of boneless short ribs, one onion, large dice, two uh, carrots, just rough chopped, three celery stalks, rough chopped, one stalk of rosemary, and three cloves of garlic, just with a little crush. Then I got two cups of bro uh, beef stock. We're going to use about one cup of Cabernet Sauvignon and some salt and pepper to season. While that's braising, we'll come back here and make our pasta dough. So let's start this up. And guys, don't forget, if you're liking these videos, to like and subscribe. So we got a Dutch oven, get it nice and hot. And go in with just maybe two tablespoons of some vegetable oil. That's going. We will season up our short ribs, salt and pepper. Pretty liberally. Put that down. We're gonna let that oil get to about smoke point. I'm just starting to get some wisps of smoke off that oil. And then go in. Oh, they're short ribs. Give them another side season. Now I'm going to let that brown on that side for about two minutes. I'm going to flip them over, brown the other side, and go from there. Check out that beautiful crust we got on the first side. I'm just gonna do that to the other side. So now we've got both sides brown. I'm gonna remove those from the pan. We're gonna go in with our carrots, celery. Onion, garlic, and a rosemary. I'm going to saute these for about two minutes. Vegetables are getting some nice color on them, starting to soften up a bit. We're going to go back in with our meat. And then hit that with our red wine. And now, go in with our stock. Raising, you want your meat to be covered about three quarters of the way. You don't want it to be fully submerged. So you're looking really good there. All I'm going to do is season with a little more salt and pepper. We're going to let that come to a simmer. Once it does, we're going to cover it and let it simmer covered until that meat is falling apart. It's going to be about two hours. In the meantime, we're going to make some pasta. For our pasta dough, we're going to start with three and a quarter cups all-purpose flour, and then cut one cup of semolina flour into that. With our bench scraper. Center. 
gonna go in five eggs. Tablespoon of water. About two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So now I'm just gonna take our fingers, make a claw, stir. First I'm gonna break up those egg yolks. Now I'm make a claw. Just use that to pull in. A little bit of flour at a time off the sides until we eventually end up with a nice piece of dough. Make sure you don't collapse your walls and have your liquid run out on you. Short ribs brazing behind me already smell fantastic. Starting to come together. with it towards the end because you don't got to worry about your liquid running out on you. Don't like forcing it in too fast. Just kind of open up those wet spots, let it absorb that dry flour. You try forcing it in, it's going to seize up on you. start needing. So I need it, I'm just gonna use the palm of my hand, stretch it. 
fold, stretch, turn, fold, stretch. We're gonna do that for about 10 minutes until we get a nice smooth dough. I got a nice beautiful ball of dough here. I'm just gonna wrap that in some plastic wrap and let it sit at room temperature until our short ribs are ready to go. Our meat is nice and tender. All right, just coming apart. We're gonna go ahead and remove that from the liquid. Let it cool down. We're gonna make our filling. We're going to strain this liquid. Okay, see that just falling apart? That's what you're looking for. Okay. I'm going to strain this and be right back. So we got our short ribs cooled down and we got the liquid strained. And we're going to reserve that to make our sauce later on. Now to finish our filling, super simple. We're going to take our meat, put it into a food processor. that we're going to add about a cup of Pecorino Romano as well as one egg. Give that a little mix, and then we'll adjust our salt and pepper. For your puree, just small pieces. Oh, back up. Okay, and that is the consistency I'm looking for. Can't taste it. We're good to go. I don't even need any, any extra salt and pepper. But now is when you would adjust. So, we're gonna make some ravioli, make our sauce, finish this dish. Before we start our ravioli, we're gonna do our sauce. So I got a large pan heating up over here. Some high walls. I'm gonna add just a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil. Let that oil get hot. Pan was already hot. You want to add your oil to your pan after it gets hot. Just going to take a second. Our oil is hot, so we're going to go in with about two cups of sliced baby portobello. Give it a stir. Also going to add about four leaves, fresh sage, julienne. We're going to saute that till we get some nice color on these mushrooms. Our mushrooms have started to brown up nicely. Now we're going to go in with about a tablespoon and a half tomato paste. I'm just going to stir that around and let that cook at about medium heat until that tomato paste is a little caramelized. So we cook that tomato paste with the mushrooms for about a minute. It's getting a little darker. So we're going to add about a half a cup of our red wine. We're going to 
gonna add the rest. Oh, we're gonna add all of our braising liquid that we strained off earlier. a simmer just let that cook and a simmer for a couple minutes we'll get it back to a simmer and then we'll adjust our seasoning throw it to a simmer and bring that heat to a low taste it salt some more pepper I'm just gonna let that sit at low for about 10 minutes and that'll be ready simmer okay so now we can go make our ravioli it is time to make a ravioli so I got my dough I got my meat I also got an egg wash some flour and I got a little wheel with some zigzags but you could do this part with a fork and just it's gonna be pressing the sides first thing we're gonna do is roll up some dough Wrap this. Just cut off a piece. Set the rest aside. Rewrap it. Set it aside so it doesn't dry out. small piece show you guys how to make these raviolis flatten that out by hand to start just make sure this is on our first setting pass it through now that first setting you want to fold it over put it back to me and repeat that process four or five times so it's real smooth. Now I'm gonna go to two. I'm getting a little ripple on my dough so I'm gonna do put some flour on there both sides. Now we're going to three. Four. I'm going to stop at five. One more time. Okay. We got our dough. Sort of taper off at the end here. So I'm just going to square that out. My bent scraper. We can add that back to the dough. It's not a problem. It's just future ravioli right there. Okay, and now we got our 
go. Scratch it out. First, we're going to take our egg wash. Just go over this whole thing. The bottom half. And just a thin coat. You don't want it to be too excessive. All you want to do is coat it. there. Now we'll take our meat mixture. I'm just doing about maybe half an ounce, a teaspoon, towards the bottom. About a half inch, a quarter inch towards the bottom, half inch to the side. And that's how we're going to do our spacing. Do that across. Take that dough, just fold it over the top. Now what you want to do is press out all the air, starting from one side and work your way over. It's going to make a nice seal for the pasta. And that egg wash is going to keep it nice and tight. Yep. This is where my little zigzag tool comes in. So we're going across the top and the bottom. That is going to make sure it's sealed and also give it a nice look with that zigzag. And I'll just go in between each one. and you got some beautiful ravioli. Now, if you don't got a zigzag, you can just cut it, take a fork, and give it some little grooves like that. It won't be the same. It'll look just fine, and it does its job. So, I'm going to turn the rest of that into ravioli, and then we'll finish this dish. We've got the raviolis rolled out. This is about half of them. I went ahead and put the other half on a sheet tray just like this and stuck it in the freezer because this here will be enough for me and my wife for dinner. I got some water boiling behind me. Let's go cook these up. Water's at a nice rolling boil. That is heavily salted, so we're gonna go ahead 
drop in the raviolis. All that fresh pasta is going to cook pretty quick. It'll take about three minutes. And they will be ready. And then we're going to transfer it to our sauce that we got warming up in the back over there. stir let those cook for just a couple minutes all right ravioli is ready to go so now we're just going to scoop them out right into that sauce got a slotted spoon here let some of that water come off but you kind of want some of that pasta water bring some of that starchiness over there Now I'm just going to let these cook in that sauce for about a minute, come together, and put it in a bowl and see what we got. Well that's it. And that sauce came out super rich and velvety and just fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.